Let's conclude our look at key commands now within Ableton Live by looking at some of the transport key commands and some additional ones that are pretty vital to getting faster work done within Ableton Live. I'm going back over now to my key commands, the uh, PowerPoint that I have, but notice also we're going to be using the project file Funky Jam, so that will be in your project files folder. Go ahead and launch this Ableton Live set and you'll be able to track along. Okay, so now I'm going back over to my key commands in my keynote presentation. And we see some that are related here just to stop and start. The spacebar will toggle between starting and stopping. Now in MIDI speak, start means always at the beginning. So if we want to continue from where we are when we stop, we hold shift in the spacebar. And then a third and final one for playing back is play whatever we've selected in the arrangement window by holding control and spacebar for windows and option and spacebar for Mac. Let's tab key back to Ableton Live and see these in action. Again, spacebar begins playback, spacebar stops. Spacebar again starts, and again that indicates from the beginning or another marked spot. I'm playing spacebar now. Now, if we mark a spot for playback out here just by clicking somewhere in this area, spacebar will take us to there for start. Okay, and spacebar again jumps back here. Even if we jump ahead, spacebar again is going to take us back to this current flashing marker. And again, shift space will pick up where we are. Spacebar again, and shift space continues. Spacebar and now spacebar to start without shift. We can also mark a selection. And what happens now is if we do either control spacebar for Windows or option spacebar for a Mac, it'll play the selection and stop at the end of what I've marked. Here we go. When it gets here, it should stop. This is very helpful if you're trying to find a specific spot. Let's go back to our keynote presentation. Here we have to enable global record, simply press F9. And to take us back to our arrangement, you simply press F10. Let's go and watch that in action now. Tab key back over into Ableton Live. And now let's use enable global record, simply F9. Turns it on and F9 turns it back off. Now if we go back over to session view, and launch a clip, we're changing the arrangement. The back to arrangement light comes on. If you want to go back to what is really there, simply press F10. And we'll see the red light go out. So I'm jumping a lead line. Turning that off for the back to range. So it gives you quite a bit of freedom to explore clips in a live setting knowing that you can automatically get back to your arrangement with that key command. Continuing on now, we also have follow mode and draw mode can be turned on and off with a single key F or B. So for Windows Control and F or Mac Command and F will turn follow mode on and off and draw mode can be turned on and off through Control and B or Command and B for the Mac again. Let's go ahead and tap back over and begin playback and using shift space to continue. Again for draw mode, command and B or control and B on and off for automation. Follow. Let's go over to the range so we can see that action. Zooming in. And we're not following now. Command F. Here we go. Oh, I think there's a problem here. I turn it off so I can stay in work. That's Command F, etc. Going back to our presentation, we also have some computer key shortcuts for turning mapping keys to MIDI, mapping computer keys to MIDI, and MIDI keys mapping. Those are all from the icons up here in this region. Then back to this, we have some global quantize values to change 
So either use control and command or 0, 9, 8, 7, and 6 to activate different resolutions for the global quantization. Also notice that we can adjust our grid when we're editing. Command and 1 will make it smaller. Command and 2 will make it larger. Command 3 will turn the triplet grid on and off. Command 4 turns snap mode on and off, which means that any drags will snap to the nearest grid line. You can override that by turning it on and off. And adaptive grid changes as we zoom. We can also turn that on and off. Looking at our next key command, we can change values to go up or down from a current value. Simply use your cursor up arrow or down arrow. If you want to move in large chunks or increments and decrements, use page up and page down. Simply use a numeric keypad to type in a direct value and then press delete key just to reset it to fall. Let's look at that one in particular. I'm tap key into the mixer. I'm bringing my pan down. I'm using my up cursor to slightly increase, down cursor arrow. If I press my delete key, it gets reset. Back to the presentation. And so that's a quick look at the key commands, and these are all essential ones that you want to use. Now these are in your resource file, inside your projects file, that also has a PDF of all these key commands, so you can use that for your own reference. There is a complete list of all of them in your Ableton Live manual, but these are just grouped in a certain way.